everybody welcome back to my channel it's Holly and I'm here with you tonight with a subscription box smash up I'm really excited I have Mrs. January's boxes and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my Colt Crushes box you guys I've been digging this subscription it's only $11 a month it's from Ricky's New York it's all things from their store um I will have this posted, a link posted down below if you want to look into it some more. But I really, really, really have been digging this box. This is like my third or fourth box. Um, I stopped getting Ipsy and I kind of replaced this with it and I love it. So here's this. Um, and then it's kind of a list of everything we got. And um, I'm gonna dive in. I have used things and tested this box out, so this isn't like a surprise unboxing, but it's kind of a open uh, an unboxing and mini review. So the first thing that we have here is not your mother's clean freak tapioca dry shampoo. And this month they didn't put any of the um, prices on the little card, and I can't remember if they did that before, but. Um, this is, um, just a regular dry shampoo. I've actually not tried this out yet because I haven't needed one. I just did my hair and I haven't needed a dry shampoo since I started, but I'm sure I will. It's in the scent Warm Sugar. Uh, it smells good. I love Not Your Mother's, uh, hair care products. Um, I find them really good quality for drugstore prices. So happy to have that. Mm. Sorry guys, my throat is really dry and if I sound funny, I am super sick. We've been battling RSV at my house, so um, yeah, so I'm going to have to keep hydrated while I'm, while I'm filming. I'm sorry. Um, the next thing that we have in here is actually this dual-ended brush and it is dirty because I just used it and um, I've used it for a couple days, but I cleaned it in between, but um, I just used it. A little while ago and I wanted to give you my thoughts on this guy um this brush part is really fluffy it's soft and big and I really like it for my setting powder and I have been using it for that and I think it's great um, I did the first day I used this I wet this sponge completely and applied um, my foundation with it it is a little bit stiffer than like a beauty blender but it wasn't if you're not pound pound if you're just softly pressing like this then it works great um I found it was a little small and it took me it took me a long time to blend out my foundation with it so it did a good job but it took a while and you know what I'm on the floor I don't have time for that so I tried it today with just my concealer instead of wetting the whole brush I spritzed Fix Plus on it and then blended out my concealer with it like this just softly pressing and then I powdered my under eye with it and I really liked the result with that. So I think this is cool for concealing and setting which is the purpose and I thought it was really easy to clean this. I mean I didn't clean this one yet but I cleaned it yesterday so yeah really like that and the next thing in my box is a lip butter from Kors this is a pomegranate um here's what that looks like and like that I really like that and um, the inside of it I'm wearing it today over another lip product but I did wear this a couple of times on its own I really liked the tint I felt like it gave me a little bit more of a corally tint um, on its own than in this combo that I'm wearing right now but really like it it is very moisturizing super quick easy um, lip color they talk it like a splash of summer keep your lips hydrated this would really really be like that like um, you just want something to keep your lips hydrated and add a little bit of color. This is great. It makes me think of like going to the beach makeup or something like that. Something fun and easy, but practical. Okay. The next thing we have here 
is the Post Makeup Recovery Spray from Scandinavia. And I have wanted to try this for a long time. Um, the only thing I'm sad about is how small this is because I love it. Like, I would want a full size, which I will now be looking into investing in because this is, hands down, the best setting spray I've ever tried, in my opinion. I mean, I've tried the e.l.f. one, I've tried Wet n Wild, and L'Oreal, and Maybelline for drugstore, and, um, and Urban Decay, and Cover FX, and the Urban Decay one was, is my favorite until here. And I think this one might be my favorite. And I've heard rumors that they're made by the same company. I'm not sure. I love the sprayer on this. I feel like it's a little bit different formula and I'm really enjoying it. It is nine o'clock at night. This makeup went on at eight o'clock this morning. I'm still wearing it. I have not touched, I've touched up my lip. That's it. So I'm impressed and I've been out and active and busy. It's Saturday with a million kid things to do and family things to do and so it's been great um yeah so I love that and then the last thing that I have I have not tried yet but I will be doing I'm sure a mask and chat because I love doing that with you guys on this so if you're curious just check back for that but this is a sheet mask with activated charcoal by Jean Perry Cosmetics and it contains one mask and it, this isn't something I've ever seen this one before but I love sheet masks and it's just a typical like 15 minutes a uh, charcoal are generally like pore cleansing and stuff like that so that is great and if for some reason I don't use this one a lot of times they do pass the pore cleansing ones on to my daughter or we'll do them together because she does have more I mean she's a teenager she has more acne related issues than I do but either way I'm really happy about this because it's a good I love sheet masks so it's a good product in my box you guys all of that for $11 I think it's great I mean um this I think retails for $10 on their site this is from this is a Ricky's New York product um like this Cora's this is a full size so I mean the rest of this is kind of sample size stuff but the amount I really think that is a great value and everything that I were incorporated in my like today is performing well. I've been trying out for a little bit. So, okay, so there's Ricky's Cold Crushes. And then we have BoxyCharm, yay. And these are actually the only two boxes I am currently getting. I did sign up for the little box, but I'm not sure I'm gonna get a January box. If I do, I just kinda do that when it comes up on my channel. So it is Rock 2018 and here is the card and we're going to kind of move this along. I'm not going to do any swatches unless you really want something, comment below because everyone and their dog has sent these videos and I'm wearing most of the stuff. But if you're cur curious for a swatch or something, I can definitely update you, maybe put it on Instagram or something. So um, yeah, let me know. Okay, the first thing that I'm pulling out is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer. And I have the Pores No More Original from Dr. Brandt, um, but I haven't tried it yet. It's been in my stash for a long time. So I wasn't able to compare it to the original version, but um, as a dry skin girl, I have been loving this primer. It's making my skin look nice. It's working well. I know there are people that have been breaking out to this, so that'd be definitely something to watch. But for dry skin, I've been enjoying it. Um, I, my makeup has been lasting. I haven't noticed any weird breakups. I wore it with a super matte foundation the other day. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, matte. Like, it's the Amazonian Clay uh, matte foundation. And that was a really good combination because I have dry skin. So, yeah. And this retails for $38. The next thing that I have gotten is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. Um, I've really been enjoying this pencil. It does have a fairly large end on it. So for those of you who are used to a um, really small tip, 
it might be a learning curve. I just find that I, it's an oval shape, so I find that I use a longer, like the flat edge, like to kind of fill along the line and then turn it to kind of do the hair strokes. Um, and it does have a spoolie. It is only one color, so you do need to um, adjust your pressure to change the colors. I'm wearing it today. I do have a tinted brow gel over the top. Um, I've been really enjoying it. It's just funny because I know that I have a full brand new one in my stash that I've never tried before, but came in boxy charm, so that was like, hey, try me out. And I really have been enjoying this. It's easy to use. I have light hair. Now, somebody who has really, really dark hair, black hair, I'm not sure you can pull that off um, unless you like a little bit lighter brow. Uh, I generally do, but we're, we're getting some intense brows. I can't quite get them light enough with this hair. So, <laughs> anyways, that is, um, uh, that one retails for $24. And then the next thing I got is a Girlactic Beauty um, Matte Lip Paint. And you guys, I like Girlactic. I want to explore some more from them. I want to try their bronzer. Um, but this is in Demure, and it's kind of a brick uh, color, and it is what I'm wearing on my lips, but I do have that lip butter over the top of it from the Colt Crushes box, so it's actually making it come off a little bit more red than the brick color, and also, it may not seem as pigmented, because lately I've been wearing my lipsticks, um, I've been kind of straining them out and kind of having a little bit sloppy, grungy edge to my lip, and I've been really digging it, it's fun. This dries down matte, but it's really comfortable. It has decent staying power. It doesn't really seem to transfer much, and I really like it because I've worn it on its own a few times, too. And then the next thing that we have... Oh, sorry. That um, retails for $23. The next thing that we have is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Palette. And um, we've got, I'm going to put this card up here. Here we go. And we have a Lushing Glow, After Glow, and Mineral Glow, um, I believe is how they are. And they are very shimmery in appearance, and they apply... Um, I wouldn't say they apply shimmery like like a glitter, uh, more like a satin sheen. So it is the face products I'm wearing today. It is the bronze that I have on. Uh, definitely more of a bronze versus a contour look. Couldn't quite do that. I think this is nice in that case uh, for that summer sheen, sun hitting you, sun kissed look. Uh, it is a very very pigmented they're all three very very pigmented I mean you can see that highlight that's the only blush product I have on and I usually wear multiple but that's it so if you don't like sheen on your face this is not the palette for you but it is so pigmented and buttery and it blends really well I noticed it was very easy to go heavy-handed on this bronzer um, I did it every single time I've applied this bronzer and it was able to blend it out very well. I blended it out on a face where I powdered for the foundation I was wearing and also there was a couple of days where I wore foundation without powder and it did blend out really well. But the other thing that I haven't tried yet that I want to try is using these as eyeshadows because I think they're gorgeous as eyeshadows, a nice sheen, and it would be really pretty use for that. So when I first looked at this, I was a little scared and I didn't think it would work, but I'm actually enjoying it. I don't know if I'll wear the bronzer all the time, but that one would be easy to morph into an eyeshadow. The blush, um, I would probably use more as blush topper than just on its own, but I love a, sh a sheen to my blush and the highlighter is gorgeous. So that little palette is a $25, uh, no, excuse me wrong thing $34 um, palette and then the last thing that I have in my box is the glam metals eye palette from crown let's see if I can there we go Got a lot of shine going on here it's very reflective and it's really cute it has this like guitar shaped mirror and we're just gonna cover that up so that you can really get a look at these shadows and the names and there we go, I'm all crooked. 
And as you can see, I've delved in a little bit of them. Um, the eye look I'm wearing today is from this palette. It actually have uh, the Lorac, um, oh, tip of my tongue. Uh, it's a lot Lorac Neutrals palette um, for all of my crease colors because there is the only matte-ish type color really in here is this black, the black metal, uh, which I do have in the outer corner of my eye look. If you can see that, I do have that deepening. Uh, I have, then on today I have Rebel on the lid and Wild Thing on the outer, the Rebel about on the inner half and then Wild Thing on the outer half and then the black metal darkening it up and I really really enjoy that. I also used um, in another look I've used punk and heavy metal the blues with the Winky Lux palette actually created some really cool colors um, and then I've used pop punk in a center of a look so far. I really like it. It's very creamy. It works well. It blends really well. Um, I'm finding that I really, really like it. The staying power is great. I mean, like I said, I've had all day. Sometimes um, shadows from Crown or those kind of companies don't always last all day on me, and this one did. So I really enjoyed that. And that was $25. That's everything for my boxes this month, you guys. I'm sorry, that was a little bit of a long video, but um, I did have everything in action for you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed the video, seeing everything that I got and seeing it in action. Um, I have all the links down below if you're interested. Uh, my BoxyCharm, I think, does get me some points. It's not an affiliate, like a, a pay link, but... Um, Ricky's Cold Crash is not an affiliate link. No affiliate links involved. But um, you can go straight to the site if you're interested. Or you can click on those links below. And um, get you that information. A box of charm is $21 a month. And you always get over $100 worth of product. And um, I think both, my, both of these boxes were great. I was really excited to have them. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.